guys, as predicted, 4.0 is set for quarter three of this year. Um, we did, Look, we said this a couple of days ago. Uh, we called it, we've been calling this for a couple of months now. Um, we are suspecting this will probably drop the day ending day two. So Sitcon is a two-day event, from my understanding. They will most likely drop this to PTU or, or live, probably PTU. Um, by the end of day two because they won't want to take anything away from sitcom so they'll wait for the sitcom to finish and then uh, at the very end they'll say hey guys 4.0 is on the PTU go play and then we're all going to madly dash to go play 4.0 so let's jump into it let's find out exactly what is in 4.0 and let's break this all down so the first thing here guys is additional player customizations Following the release of the new character customizer in Alpha 3.23, these updates add additional hair, facial hair options, as well as piercings, which is interesting. Uh, nothing there about tattoos. So, yeah, not sure about tattoos. Uh, location, obviously, Pyro 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then we've got the six moons around Pyro, which is Ignis, uh, Ventura, Fugo, Ferio. Uh, yeah, you get those names. Um, also, we are getting jump points, outpost colonialism, and also spaceports in Pyro, which is stuff like Ruin Station and all those sort of places, right? Including a, a, a rundown rest stops to Pyro, which provide basic repairs and blah, blah, blah. Um, so at the end of the day, that is obviously going to be very, very interesting as well. Uh, AI, we have the Quasi Grazer, which is the space cow. Um, so that will be added into the universe. Uh, one blind animals were originally discovered on the planet of Quasi on Terra. Most notable for their usual method of carrying their eggs on the underside. Quasi will go under the stable and see where you can found. I believe this is going to be in Microtech as well as uh, other places as well. Um, so I, I would suspect to see this in a lot in Pyro and Staten in general. Uh, gameplay, we have Fire Hazard, Engineering, Life Support, and Solar Bursts. So obviously Fire Hazard is implementing the Fire Hazard system, which tracks fire and temperature on static and dynamic events which is obviously very interesting. Engineering, which is obviously what we've got in the uh, Arena Commander at the moment, and then expanded on, but allows players to manage, maintain, repair various ship systems. Players can assume different roles for each, providing a unique gameplay loop. So, um, obviously I haven't checked engineering in the 3.2, 3.1. I might do that later today. And then life support, which is implementing the first iteration of life aboards, uh, sorry, onboard life support systems and ships, which entails ship components that generate breathable gases when turned on. And the management side of life support components with the vehicle loadout manager. And I presume, uh, yeah, that'll be done through the VMA. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, we've also noticed in engineering, there's vents and stuff, which have been added now. So I presume that's that as well. And then Solar Burst, which is implementing the Solar Burst hazard into the pyro system. Uh, ships and vehicles, we are getting the RSI Zeus Mark II ES, which I believe is the cargo variant, as well as the rework and the new displays. So this is obviously uh, rebuilding ship multifunction displays in building blocks, including new design, functionality, and customize option, uh, customization options. The upgrade also includes a certain number of updated ship HUDs, giving greater visibility as well as manufacturer-based visual overhaul. So this is where you'll get your, your MDFs for your Drakes, your Crusaders, and you know your different brands and stuff like that. Weapon and items. Uh, Grey Cat is getting a rework, which is building, uh, bringing it into line with Squadron 42, including the additional functionality like cutting for, uh, for specific scenarios, repair and updates like improved handling, integrated UI, and the use of batteries, which is obviously going to be huge. And that brings us into the second one, which is Charge and Drain. 
adding the ability for players to drain, store, and charge objects with power using the multi-tool, including the ability to overcharge objects as well as also remove distortion damage. And then obviously fire extinguishers, all tasks required to implement the functionality of fire extinguishers into the game. So that is cool. And then the last one is Cortec, which is the transit system refactor, which makes sense because the transit system has been a little wonky lately. Uh, mission system refactor, which is obviously reworking the missions uh, for server meshing and the server meshing version one, which is implementing server meshing and multi enabling multiple servers per shard. Obviously, guys, at the end of the day, this is massive news. It is set for tentative quarter three. Like I said, I do suspect it will drop, go to PTU probably at the end of sitcom. Uh, but at the end of the day, yeah, this is this is basically this is the start of of Star Citizen the MMO um, with server meshing coming in. So a lot of the issues with the AIs being non-responsive and stuff should be fixed uh, with server meshing at least. Well, starting to be fixed, um, and obviously then we're getting our pyro system as well as Stanton. So obviously that will help with like the lawlessness stuff because the pirates and all that will be over in pyro mostly. Um, but yeah, as a, as a Machinima Crater, obviously the stuff like, for example, the vents, life support and fire is obviously big for me. Um, but I'm also kind of looking forward to like the RSI Mark II ES. I believe the ES is the, is the cargo variant. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, obviously at the end of the day, guys, this is all huge news. Um, obviously they're tentative at the moment, but... You know, they've been pretty good on getting things in at times. Um, there's a couple of things that still haven't been input in 3.23 yet. Uh, personal hangers and stuff like that, but they're coming soon in the next patch. Um, so they're still part of the 3.23 branch. Um, but 4.0 is definitely looking forward to it. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. What are your thoughts on the 4.0? Are you looking forward to it? Are you looking forward to Pyro? Are you going to be a criminal? Or are you going to be law-abiding? Or are you going to be a bit of both? Let me know. Uh, apart from that, guys, obviously the video has been helpful. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we will see you in the verse. Have a great night and enjoy.